welcome once again to the Morning Meditation with God radio ministry brought to you each morning at this same time by the generous and loving members and friends of the Midwest Church of Christ. Midwest Church of Christ is located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. We like to extend to you and to your entire family a warm and loving invitation to come and be with us in any and all of the services of the Midwest Church of Christ. Again, located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. Our order of services include each Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. as our first worship of the day. Then at 9.30, we have our Sunday Bible School, and at 10.30, we have our second worship of the day. On Wednesdays, we have our midweek Bible study, prayer and devotional services. Our first session is at 10 a.m. in the morning, and our evening session is at uh, 6.50. That's 10 minutes before 7. If you would like to study the Bible in the comforts of your own home, we have two ways that you can do that. One is the Bible correspondence course that uh, you can take by mail. The second is the personal home study where someone will come and sit down, study the word of God right in the comforts of your own home. Either way, you give us a call at 774 39 Eight six, and uh, we'll register you today. In other announcements, coming up this week, the Children's Church will be meeting at 1030. Parents, get your children uh, engaged into, uh, into the uh, 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 Children's Church. They will enjoy it, and so will you. Praise be unto God. We want to, and it starts at 10.30 a.m. Um, then we want to, uh, let the ladies' Bible class will be um, starting uh, also on uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, and let's make sure that all the sisters that are in the Bible class this coming uh, Sunday. The 2019 clip ministry is um, will be in session this uh, Saturday, the uh, 23rd. Uh, Brother Robert Fry, who is a certified Dave Ramsey uh, um, Life uh, Financial Counselor uh, will be with you, and uh, we hope that uh, you will uh, be uh, be with them. Praise be unto God. Also, we want to urge um, all of you to make plans to be at the 2019 Black History Program which is scheduled for March the 10th. There will be uh, young people uh, working uh, to present presentation. There will be some adults who will be uh, making uh, presentations. So we hope that you will join with them and uh, uh, be, in the, be involved. It's going to be on Sunday this year. We're going to try something new be on Sunday. We hope that more of our members will be participating uh, in the Black History Program. So you make sure that uh, you are um, uh, with us uh, this coming uh, um, Black History Program. The youth ministry will be taking a trip to the Lindsey Wilson College uh, uh, Saturday, February the 23rd, uh, this coming Saturday. Sister Tiana Curry will be honored during the uh, senior day of their basketball uh, team, and we would like our youth 11 years enough to support her. Uh, those that are 
you're interested in going to Black Sister <clears throat> Lashonda McGill, no, and make plans to be there uh, for that. So God bless you. Looking forward to it. Uh, I know that you will uh, certainly enjoy this. We want to also <clears throat> remind you of our weekly activities. We have the Tuesday high noon prayer uh, will be on Tuesdays at 12 noon. Brother uh, Shimwell coordinates the hour of prayer uh, each Tuesday at noon. All are invited. Uh, the Village Learning and Development Center's after school uh, ministry is open Monday uh, through Thursday, and we hope, trust, and pray that um, uh, uh, those of you that can make a commitment of one day a week that you will consider uh, volunteering uh, at, at the Learning Center. We need uh, volunteers with, uh, to work with our children in their reading, their math, and their, uh, uh, and their writing skills. We need you to, to be with them and help us with them. We won't leave you hanging dry. We'll show you what to do. And we hope that you'll do that. Praise be unto God. Also, uh, also uh, we use your donations to it. On You can go online uh, uh, and make your donation to uh, the program. Uh, the Village Learning and Development Center, Ems, uh, Midwest Church of Christ dot org uh, listed here. So let's keep that in, in mind. The Midwest Kids Cafe is open on Thursdays at 5 p.m. The cafe provides a healthy meal along with physical and educational activities. So we hope that you'll make plans to, uh, to attend for, uh, that. Praise be unto, uh, unto God. We um, the area wide news the uh, West Broadway Church of Christ is having their uh, annual congregational singing uh, this coming Sunday the twenty fourth uh, at two p.m. Uh, you you need to uh, make plans uh, to uh, uh, be there because we know you will be blessed. Uh, you will you will be blessed to go and hear this beautiful sing, may and melody coming from the heart of of everybody of, of all the singers. So we hope that you will make plans to, to attend. I um, want to remember our sick and shut in here at Midwest. We want to remember our sick. Uh, Sister uh, Bertha Frazier, uh, Sister uh, Jackie Holman, uh, Sister Emma Johnson, Sister Gwen Robinson, and uh, we're so glad to see her back with us on yesterday, her and her husband, Brother William Robinson, Don Marie Sizemore, Angelica Robertson. Our shut-in, Sister Mamie Cartwright. Sister Louise Covington, Sister Sarah Cowan, Sister Mary Hunter, Sister Pearl Smith, Sister Vivian Wakefield, and uh, uh, Sister Mary Wood, and uh, Brother James Fraser. Also praying for, uh, for those uh, uh, going through dialysis and radiation and chemotherapy. Uh, 
our one of remembers our good friend, Sister Jesse Bennett, Sister Darlene Hayes, Sister Angela Walls Gill, Sister Sheila Heiner, Sister um, Sandy Hammond Schuler, there in Evansville, and Sister uh, uh, Rita Kamishi, and my youngest sister, Paula uh, Thomas. Also, we want to remember brothers Jasper Crenshaw, brother Dennis Reynolds, brother Richard Rose, brother Frederick uh, 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 Hine, and my oldest brother, Marvin Stevenson, Jr. Continue to pray for these and ask God to, to be with them. Uh, we're glad to have uh, with us, I see my pretty, my beautiful niece uh, Deidre uh, up there in the Jersey area. Uh, it's so good to have you. We saw that Councilwoman Angela Leak was uh, is with us again this morning, and uh, we just and Brother Robert Fry up there in in, in the Lexington Nicholasville area. So. We're glad to have all of you and many, many others that are uh, with us this morning. We may, uh, uh, there's a, uh, uh, Pat, Patty Loops uh, that is with us. Praise be on Patty uh, Loops. Okay, God bless you. Thank you for being with us this, this morning. We want to say happy birthday. Um, to Brother Jermaine Murphy um, over on Saturday. And, uh, those twins, uh, uh, Van Darius and Eudarius, will, uh, Gilbert will be on the 19th. And uh, sister, my, one of my nieces, uh, Arrington Smith, on the 21st, and uh, Ronisha Lee uh, will be on the 22nd. So we're just thankful to God that this week we'll celebrate the birthdays with all uh, all of those who uh, are with us. We want to give thanks. I want to give thanks to those who supported the radio ministry this week. I want to say thank you to uh, Sister Linda Bird and uh, Sister Janet Carter, uh, Brother Alvester Curry, uh, Brother Tony and Sister Chiquita Curry, Brother James Malone, Sister Marceline Marshall, Sister Ethel Rivers, uh, Sister Angelica Robertson, uh, Sister And. Anda Sharp, uh, Brother Gary Simonton, and Sister Terry Simonton, uh, Brother Joe Stevenson, and Sister Joey Stevenson, uh, Sister Marilyn Wester, Sister Nancy Mormon, and our dear friends, uh, Brother David and Sister Rita Kamishi. Thank you so much. For your generosity and your kindness towards this radio ministry. May God be with you. Praise be unto God. Would you bow with me? Dear God and Father in heaven, as we come before you today, we bow our heads and we humble our hearts, recognizing that there is, there is no other God besides you. And we call upon you to come down and visit us. Visit us not with, with your wrath, O oh God, but visit us with your loving kindness. O oh Lord, our God, be merciful to us. Remember our sick and our shut-ins, O oh God. Remember them, and I ask that you would heal them. And I ask that you would bring your spirit of joy in them even in their sickness and in their shut-in condition, 
May you bring them the joy that only can come from you. We pray for every person. We pray, oh God, that you would be with all of our brothers and sisters uh, and to continue to bless us, oh God. Bless us with your goodness. Be with, go, go to every home and every workplace, every automobile, wherever the, the morning meditation is being received. I pray a blessing upon every person. And I ask, oh God, as we go into your word, that we will all look unto the hills from which cometh our help, for our help cometh from the Lord. Open up our hearts to receive your engrafted word, which is able to save us. Oh Lord, oh Lord, thank you for being who you are. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, if you would, let's turn your Bibles to um, the book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Psalms, the first division. The Bible, the word of God says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and it's in his law that he meditates day and night. And he shall be like a, like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The, un the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Jesus come to show us how to live in this new kingdom of God. Matthew records him teaching his disciples in the mountain. In Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse 3, the Bible, the word of God says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, but they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are ye, when men shall persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, rejoice. Rejoice, he says, rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. Now, let's open up our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 16 and verse 24. The Bible, the word of God says, then Jesus said to his disciples, if, any, if anyone wants to come with me, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me.
Monday, February the 18th, 2019. Our daily devotion entitled, Follow Me. We can take God's presence for granted. We can assume that because Jesus said he would be with us always, he will follow us wherever we go. Matthew 28, 20. Jesus does not follow us. We are to follow him. You do not invite God to join you in your activity, but he invites you to become involved in his activity. Jesus said, you did not choose me, but I chose you in John 15 and verse 16. Following Jesus's requires absolute obedience. He does not seek out. He does not seek our counsel about which direction we think is suitable. God always knows what is best without ever having to consult with man. Following Jesus, will lead you into experiences you never dreamed of. You will be with Jesus as he wept, as he weeps over the trapped, about those trapped in sin. You will feel the pain that Jesus feels. You will see those who were spiritually blind experience the joy of coming to see Jesus as from for the first time. You will see lives that were broken, that made whole. You will see marriages restored, those in bondage released, and those who mourn comforted. The time it will be easy to follow Jesus. At other times, you will be tempted to abandon him. Following Jesus can mean going through a storm or standing on a mountain top. You may have, you may have stopped following but now you, you want to follow him again. When you stopped following Jesus, you did so on your terms. But the returning to Jesus is strictly under his condition. He is God and you are to, and you are not. You are, the question is, are you willing to follow Jesus where anywhere at any time, under any condition, that is the only way you can follow Jesus. And so is the reading from the books of the Lord. The book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Matthew chapter five, verse three through 12. And here in the book of Matthew, the 16th chapter, and the verse is 24. Now, let's turn our Bibles to our featured study found in the book of Revelation. We'll pick up in verse number seven this morning. The Bible, the Word of God says, and Revelation chapter 6 and verse 7. 
And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked and behold a pale heart, and his name that set on him was death and hail which uh, hail followed him and and power was given unto him unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger uh, amen and uh, with death and with the beast of the earth let's stop there i i should have started at verse number six the third seal in verse six five and verse five is the the black horse and its rider the rider is also the uh, the rider also seems to be the antichrist uh, it is not named, but this is uh, the person who the 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 the, the forces of the, of the time that uh, have power to control the economy and distribution of food. Food will be rationed in a, a man. Remember, there will be more wars and conflicts and violence raging all over the world during uh, the end time. The, re the result of, of war is often famine and the end and a amen. And the only difference as to what's going on here now than what Jesus uh, prophesied in Matthew 24 when the end time shall come, he, he lets us know that famine would be raised up. The distribution of food, the, the economy will be under the control of a few, just a few powerful people. Yes, and what we, what we need to know is that Christ, when Christ opens the the seal, John hears the, the, a voice come. John sees this black horse and with his rider having balances in his hand. He's got some balances and he's got some scales that lets you know that there, amen, uh, a measure of wheat uh, will be measured. Uh, uh, and barley uh, would be the is the basic food for the people in John's day. A penny to buy a measure of wheat. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all y'all be sitting around here complaining about making ten and fifteen dollars an hour. They was making a penny a day. All day they would work for a penny. A penny to buy a measure of barley. These in powerful influences would influence and, and uh, they would be in control. They will cause people to, to compromise everything they are in order to feed themselves and their family. I want you to know, even into the midst of hard times, even in the midst of when, uh, amen, trouble is all the way around, you're working for a penny just to feed your, your family. God's word, God's word to the 
children of uh amen of god there in asia minor he wanted them to know that david had prophesied a long time ago when he said i was young and now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging bread i want you to know children of god that there is god god's word is solid in every generation god god promised you that he would provide for you there's no greater time to understand this than when we're 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 in hard times amen i remember so vividly as we grew up on virginia avenue here in jeffersonville i remember so vividly mama cooking sending us to the store and getting uh, a dime's worth of joel bacon Y'all remember that, don't you? Amen. Get sending us to the store and getting some Joel bacon for a dime that was a put into the beans. Amen. We was gonna have white beans and a uh, 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 cornbread, uh, hot water cornbread, and oh, we had some eating. Man, it take and everybody would be looking for a little piece of that old Joel bacon. Amen. Wasn't, wasn't a whole lot. So everybody had to get just a little bit of the Joel bacon. And if you went back for the second and third time, you didn't get no meat. Amen. You got uh, just beans. But I want you to know, uh, Mama would cook beans. And anybody that came to the house, would be able to get some beans. Yes, there were hobos back in those days. And the people would provide a meal for them. I come to tell you, God is looking. God provided. And when we was going through hard times, very little to eat. But we had our stomachs were full on white beans and cornbread our black eyed peas and and biscuits oh my goodness gracious what a, what a joy it was but i come to tell you church there'll be hard times that you have this is what you need to get from here there'll be hard times but don't you ever forget god promised to those who would faithfully serve him seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. My brothers and sisters, you need to know God. You need to know that God will provide. He promised you that. And so, John saying to the, the churches there in Asia Minor, he wanted them to know that the, the way is going to get hard. But be thou faithful unto death, and you will receive a crown of righteousness. Yes, there's going to be some hard times. And in verses 7 and 8, he says this. He says now, and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. And I looked and behold, a pale heart. And his name that set on him was death and hell followed him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. Here we see the pale horse is the symbol of death. The rider's name was death and hell followed with him. This shows us that there are not, uh, these were not actual persons 
but they were the forces when the scripture tells us that in the book of uh, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, he says, uh, he says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. John is reminding them of this very thing. We've got to realize that uh, uh, they are the wicked, the wicked forces of our of our earth are always trying to destroy the people of God. <clears throat> the writer has a name. And the writer's name is Death. And sitting right beside him is Hell. Now the word Hell here doesn't mean Hell fire. It means Hades. Those who would be killed would be buried in the Hades. The wicked, the, the place where all the dead go. What it is showing us is that there is there is a great devastation of of death. The rider also is given power to cause unbelievable pain and suffering. He is personally responsible for killing one fourth of the people of the earth. And when you look at here, you see one thing he ain't got total control he's just been by permission and 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 god gave them permission how how can one writer possibly kill one fourth of all the people a number that would equal over a billion people in today's society there are four ways the sword can help to kill that many uh, 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 that many people. That is war and genocide by deliberately setting a policy to destroy certain races and groups of people. You see, you see, they they wanted to kill those Jews. That uh, that that broke away from the tradition of the Jewish nation and called themselves following Jesus. Some then there were those that wanted to just kill uh, people because of the color of their skin, are from their background, where they come from. In our modern times, Adolf Hitler tried to kill all the Jews. In, my, in, our, in our country and throughout the world, a one woman, one little one woman, one woman, Margaret Singer, Margaret Singer, but all put brought in, brought in the the abortion clinics, and put them all in the near the African American uh, um, communities. Her her whole genocide application is to kill our unborn babies my brothers and sisters prior to this time prior to this time in 1975 we met in washington dc the executive directors of community action systems and and senior citizens 
area agencies on aging, all of the model cities. Uh, Dr. Uh, Fuller, you remember model cities all over the country. And I come to tell you, Jesse and Julian Bond and Andy Young, and I were all there at the Wardoff Hotel. They declared, Jesse declared, you know that I am against uh, a man, abortion. But we're going to make a pact with the women's movement. We're not going to be talking against uh, uh, bringing up the abortion issues. And, and, and if people bring them up, you just tell them that is not our issue. But I want you to know. He said we need to we need to support the peanut man, the feminist, uh, and we're going to make a pact with them. They're going to support all of the great society programs. I maintain that that day that day brought a curse upon the African American community. It brought a curse upon us. We were very seldom aborting our children at that time. And I come to tell you, ever since that day, blacks have been one of the leading groups that have aborted our children. I was told several, several years ago that every day in the United States of America, over 1,500 black babies were killed, murdered. And now we see we see the fruition of what's going on in response to the, 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 the courts and things uh, um, ruling against abortion. There are governors standing up and cheering for the killing of babies who have been fully developed, ready to be born pull their heads out and puncture uh, them with a scissors and puncture a hole in their head and, and then take a, a suction and suck out the baby's brains. And then they pronounce the baby dead and, and they pull the baby on out of the mother's womb. I want you to know something. If that ain't murder, I don't know what it is. And to those of you that have been bamboozled and hoodwinked into believing that, that abortion is, a not, is not your call, it ain't your business, it is your business. If you are a child of God, it's your business to speak out against this crime, against humanity. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we see the sword killing, taking vengeance. Brothers and sisters, death and hell is still pulling men and women, boys and girls. We can see what happened in Nashville, Tennessee. Four teenage, no, two teenage kids, youth, and two children, 10 and 11 years old. Children, 11, 10 and 11 years of age. Hijacked an automobile, killed the person that they hijacked. I come to tell you, death, the, the pale horse is riding clearly in our land. We, we have more African Americans killed in the United States of America every day than we lose in our wars that we are in. My brothers and sisters, it is high time that we understand 
It's time to turn back to God. Time to turn back to God. God bless you. Praise be unto thee. Praise be unto thee. We're going to open up the prayer line. If you would like to have prayer, you give us a call. We'll pray with you. We'll pray for you. That our God may strengthen your life and the life of those around you. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor, are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am weak, meek, and lowly, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. When we go through the book of Revelation, again, I want you to be clear. This is a revelation that John gave to the seven churches of Asia. And he says that these things must shortly come to pass. God wrote this in signs and symbols and types. And what we're trying to do is to get you to have a understanding of what the signs are and what the types are. So if you don't know what the signs are, you don't know what the types are, you'll, you'll miss this every sin. So glad to have um, our brother there in uh, Cincinnati, Brother Jeremy Flowers, that great uh, church, the uh, uh, there in, in Cincinnati, uh, the Gray Road Church of Christ. And Brother, Brother Flowers is taking that church to greater heights, and we're just so thankful. They're, they're, they, they've got so much going on there at the Great Road Church of Christ under his, under his leadership and vision that he has given to the people uh, of God there in Cincinnati. Thank you for being with us. Uh, uh, we have uh, Dr. Howard Fuller, as I've shared with you, on many occasions as as our mentor for uh, the, the school choice the parental choice movement and uh, we're just thankful to god uh, for uh, for him and what he has meant uh, to the cause of of, uh, of parental choice it's gonna it's gonna have its fruition it's gonna have its fruition and we need to, to do that. 571-1240. If you would like to have prayer, you give us a call. Let us pray together. Let us call upon our God. You know, one of the things that we, we need to recognize is, is that God tells us that we don't need to worry about anything. As the children, and we, we can be concerned, but don't, don't, don't ever think. We're in a hopeless situation. So he says, and the Apostle Paul writes to the church at Philippi, and he says now, he says in verse 6, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. The first thing that you need to do is to let your request be made known to God. Now, you say, well, I thought God knows everything. He does. But he wants you to ask in his son's name. He wants you to ask in his son's name. And he says, and the peace of God, 
which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. I want you to understand that he is going to be with you. He's going to always be with you. And he is going to provide for you. And so, children of God, what the world needs now is to see the people of God demonstrating the power of the living God. He needs to see, see us following with joy. Doesn't mean you won't be hurt. It doesn't mean that it won't, you won't find disappointment. But then you understand that what the apostle wrote to the church at Rome, and he says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Didn't say you wouldn't be hurt. Didn't say everything that comes upon you is going to be good for you, to, to you. But God will make it work for you if you give it over to the Lord. You know, the, the psalmist, the psalmist, he, he puts it this way. He says, trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shall be fed. Delight thyself in the, in the Lord and he shall give thee desires of thine heart. He says in verse five, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. You, 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 you got some plan? Trust the Lord. Commit it to the Lord. And the Bible says, and he will bring it to pass. Now, that's the secret. Unleash your request to God. Unleash your commitment to God. Sister Marilyn Weston, uh, says, please pray for my baby uh, cuz, cousin in Florida that, is, that has uh, virial meningitis and in uh, critical condition. Oh, bless, bless the child, bless the child. And we also need to pray for uh, uh, Sister Marilyn's daughter, Michelle. And we wanna continue to pray for Brother Clark Stannard's uh, uh, daughter, Sarah. Keep these in our prayers. Ask God to be with them. So many, so many things we need to pray for. And that's what we need to do. That God may bless us. Would you bow with me? Father, as we come to you today, we bow our heads once again, thanking you, Father, for all that you do. And I ask now, dear God, that you would show your mercy to those who have been listening and watching the morning meditation with God. I pray today that you will show your mercy toward them. Now, Father, I bring Sister Marilyn, little cousin before you. I bring her daughter. I bring Brother Clark uh, uh, Stannard's uh, daughter, Sarah, I pray, O oh God, for our sick and shut in, for those going through dialysis and radiation and chemotherapy. I pray for them. And O oh God, we thank you and we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. My time is up for today. I've enjoyed being with you. Look forward to being with you again on tomorrow. Until then, know this. Our God loves you. And so do I.